Well, the lines formed early in South Omaha as well today, but no one was looking for a deal. As Brian Mastry explains, this get together was all about giving thanks. We ask you to be with us now as we share this meal. On this Thanksgiving, a blessing from Omaha's Archbishop. Metro youngsters left their own messages for the dozens of homeless who shared a Thanksgiving meal at the Stevens Center in South Omaha. Is that enough or would you like some more? What started as a simple invitation one year for Father Lucas became his own tradition. Which would you care for, the light, light or the dark? He'll serve and then eat. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you. He knows this room carries some heavy burdens. People who are, are really struggling and, you know, um, relying on the help of, of uh, their neighbors just to, you know, to have the bare minimum to survive every day. Tomorrow? Sure. We have plenty. It's why the Archbishop is here, a point of contact. He believes good things happen when you make that connection. What do you think the compassion needle is in Omaha? I think the compassion needle is pretty high. I, mean, I really have been um, impressed with the, um, just how, how anxious people are to help their neighbors if they know that, that there's a need. It's a place where encouragement becomes hope. God bless you. God bless you Thank you for coming. Next Thanksgiving won't be in the old school. It'll be here in the new building. Three stories of space for the Stevens Center to make a difference. In South Omaha with photographer Jim Hinchek, Brian Mastry, WWT6 News. The Stevens Center focuses on those who need help with their drug and alcohol problems. St. Mary's School is a temporary emergency shelter. A ribbon cutting is set for early January at the new facility at 27th and Q.